friends Mikey and JJ sent myself and my friend Pip a challenge. Who can make the most secure maze and base? What's the catch, Louie? Mikey will be hiding inside of your base, Pip, and JJ will be hiding inside of mine. The first one of us to find them wins! Wow, that sounds awesome. Come on, Mikey, let's what? get started! What did you just take, Mikey? And uh, okay, what, uh, Mikey. Uh, okay, you know what? It doesn't matter. Anyways, let's go ahead and build a really super secure base for JJ. So what I'm going to start by doing is by building JJ's head. I want this base to look just like him. So I'm going to have a big head in the middle. I'll start by building all the way up like this, and then setting all of the blocks in this area to white terracotta. This is going to be where JJ's base is going to be inside of this area. But I need to make it look like his face. So what? What I'm going to do is get some white for his eyes and put them on the left and on the right. This looks pretty good, but JJ has blue eyes. So let's go ahead and give him some light blue eyes very quickly. Let's just do this. Okay, light blue there and light blue here. But now, guys, this is going to be a secret underground base. I'm going to start by making a big hole into the ground. This is where my base will be. It's going to be very, very far into the ground. And by far, I mean super duper far. I mean literally look at this, guys. I just made a hole that is huge. And this is where all of my secure traps will go to stop Pip from fighting JJ. But now, guys, let's go ahead and just fill this base up with some smooth stone on the walls. And whoa, this looks cool. That looks cool, Louie. That looks ugly. Look at my base. Um, Pip, I don't know about you, but your base is just a square of dirt. I will be able to find Mikey so easily. <laughs> Matter of fact, look, he's right here. Does that mean I win? No, Louie. You'll have to go inside of my really nice house and sit down. Okay, well, Pip, your base is not looking very secure. So, you know what? Maybe you should work on some security whilst I work on mine. I will, Louie. All right, but guys, uh, now that Pip is busy working on whatever that is, I need to make my JJ build look amazing. So I'm going to first start by adding the hair that JJ has. It kind of goes a little bit higher up into the sky. I think I might have built his head a little too long. So I'll just do something like this. And there we go, guys. Now JJ's head is going to look perfect. As you can see, it's starting to look pretty good. I'm building his hair. And I'm going to go ahead and build everything else next. Like all of the details that will keep Pip away. But first, let's add his hair going around the back of his head head like this, and boom. There we go. Now, we just need to go ahead and give him some sideburns that come up like that, and let's go ahead and just put some skin tones here so that it doesn't look like he's a girl. Now, guys, JJ's head is completed. This JJ base is looking crazy, but I need somewhere to hide JJ. So, I'll be hiding him right inside this base in this hole somewhere, but wait a second. I just realized there's no entrance to this base, so I'm going to make like 10 different ones that Pip will totally get trapped in. All right, let's get started. The first entrance will be this one. It's going to be made out of stripped oak logs. And this is going to be a little tunnel that Pip will have to walk down. And you know what? I'm going to make this tunnel into a trap. So I'm going to get some red stained glass like this. And I'm going to fill up the walls right here with it. Next, I'm going to go ahead and just put a bunch of spikes in here. And I'm going to make it look like Pip will be able to get inside of my base from here. But little does Pip know, if he goes down this way, he will fall straight straight into a death pit. So let's go ahead and just add some space here with some spikes at the bottom. And then I think I'll put some red stained glass on the side so that I can see when Pip falls down from the inside of my JJ base. There we go. I think that looks amazing. If Pip falls in there now, he's totally going to die. But I want to add some more entrances. I need to put one that is a little bit more secret. As you can see, Pip will totally see this one and try to run straight in. But the next entrance is going to be a little bit funnier. I'm just going to put a little hole in the wall here. And I'm going to get a regular oak door. I'll just place it right there. And when Pip walks in, he will just fall into a poop chute and die. And guys, when I say poop shoot. I mean poop shoot. Let me show you what's going to happen. Pip is going to fall all... And guys, what I mean by poop shoot is that I'm going to put dirt at the bottom here with some poop in it. So when Pip falls down, he will fall into a stinky trap and he will totally die. But since this wall is made of glass, he will probably try to break out. And when he does, I'll make him fall down another chute and it will drop him into spikes. That will totally kill him. There is no way that Pip manages to get out of this one. There we go, guys. I think that's pretty good. 
good. Let's just make sure we cover this up so that Pip thinks that this is a safe way out. And there we go. That should be good enough. But guys, I don't think two entrances is good enough. I think I want three. So I'm going to put a fake entrance right on the front in JJ's face. I'll just make it look like JJ has his mouth wide open and he's going to eat you. So I'll just get some red wool and I'll get some white wool and I'm going to give JJ some teeth just like this. That looks really scary. And then I'll get some red like this and make it look like he has his mouth wide open. Now I'll just get some ghost blocks just like this and I will place them in the middle so that you can walk straight in through JJ's mouth. And when you go in, that's going to be your death. Because if you walk into JJ's mouth, then expect to be digested. So you're going to fall straight down into this death pit. Yeah, that's right, guys. I'm really enjoying building death pits, so I think I'll just keep building more and more. But wait a second. Maybe I'll have it so you fall down into JJ's stomach. And JJ's stomach is going to be full of stomach acid. So I'll just go ahead and get some lava and place it here. There we go. We now have an entrance that Pip will totally not expect. But there we go, guys. Let's go ahead and make another trap. I think I'm going to make one nice and close to the front again. I'll just go ahead and make another one of those door traps. So I'll just put it right over here. Now, when Pip walks through this, I don't want this to make him fall down. I want to make it look like he's going to fly up. And that will take him into a special room where he thinks that he'll be safe. So let's just go all the way up here. And then let's get a fan. Let's put this emerald fan at the bottom just like this. And when Pip walks through here, he will fly up into the sky. And I'll have a fan all the way up here that will blow him back out of the base. So he's going to fly up and then back out. Let's see if this works. So if I come down here and go through here, I'll go up and then, whoa, I'll fly away and hit the ground. This JJ face is so funny. There's no way Pip will be able to get in. But guys, I have another way. But I think I have another thing that I'll add. I'm going to put a bunch of trees around the outside of this JJ base, just like this. And don't ask me why yet, guys. This is just going to basically keep Pip away. If I put a big forest outside, he might think that the secret entrance to this base is somewhere hidden in the trees. So it's going to be super annoying for him. He's going to have to try and make his way through this huge forest just to get to the front. There we go. But wait, guys, I have a good idea. Now that Pip is in his base, what if I just hit JJ all the way up here? That would be funny. I'll just get a soul stone like this and I'll go down here to JJ. I'll grab him and I'm going to go ahead and just put him in this tree. This is going to be hilarious. Pip will be all the way down here and he will try to get into my base and look for JJ, but then he'll only realize after that JJ's right here watching him the whole time. I'm going to give JJ a little window though, just up there, so that he can see out. Yeah, that looks kind of obvious, but I don't think Pip will see it. Anyways, let's go ahead and just do something else. I think I'll make it so there's another entrance over here, and this one will be a brown tunnel that will be around about this big. So let's go back like this. Boom, boom, boom. And there we go. This is looking pretty nice. Now, as you can see, we have this big tunnel, but I'm going to have some black stained glass, and I'm going to make it look like you're walking into a really scary dark hole. So I'll just put some black stained glass, put some ghost blocks on it just like this, and now, guys, if you look from a distance, it kind of looks like the glass gets darker and darker as you go in, so it makes a foggy type of effect. And when you walk all the way over here, you will enter into the JJ base, and uh, once again, guys, you'll fall into a big hole of death. It's gonna be funny to watch Pip watch. It's gonna be funny to watch Pip do this. So let's just put some more like this. And boom. Now Pip is going to go ahead and go into this dark state, into this dark, scary hole. And then, boom, he'll fall all the way down here. He's dead. Now let's go ahead and just put some lava all the way down here so that when Pip falls down, he will just land in the lava pit. Guys, my JJ base is filled with drop shoots. This is so deadly. But guys, the secret entrance is going to be... Oh, I know. I'll put it in one of these trees. I'll put it in this tree around the back over here. And just so I know, I'll put some red concrete here. Now, let's get some ghost blocks and let's go ahead and just put some wood here. So now, we have this secret entrance made out of wood. You can just walk down and go into the secret tunnel that I put under this tree. But now, guys, we need to get all the way into the JJ build. So I'll start from here and I'll go all the way into the JJ. All the way over here. Now, let's just 
just do the command line air two and boom we made a tunnel that takes you all the way into the jj build this is perfect but here we go let's go ahead and start making the actual base now we've put pip through enough of these deadly drop traps let's go ahead and just make something kind of cool so i'll make a little room over here out of red concrete and this will be the starting room where pip will definitely end up so here we go let's just make it so we can enter in here and this will be my first trap that will keep pip out i'm going to make him do some simple parkour but guys it's not going to be as simple as he thought watch this i'm just going to make a few one block jumps just like this but what's going to happen is these jumps are going to have barrier blocks on them which means if pip is not careful and doesn't notice there are barrier blocks he might try to make the one block jump and just fall straight into the lava down below so pip will have to watch out for these invisible blocks and jump right here and then maybe i'll make it so he has to jump right here that's really hard so he'll have to jump to here to here and then i'll make him jump to the left again over here so i'll do this and boom there we go that's looking good but now i'll make this platform big enough he can walk across and then i'll make the next way across all the way on the right so he will have to go here now let's just make a really difficult jump like this one block doorway he will have to position himself correctly to be able to get through it perfect so let's see here now let's see if i can do it i'll just jump to here and then to this block okay okay now i have to go to the left and oh i almost fell there now i just have to go here and then finally out and boom we made it that was easy but maybe not so easy for pip guys comment down below if you think you'll make it but guys now that i've done one room i think it's time to do another and i have an idea i'm going to make pip do a squid games parkour challenge so i'll have some blocks that are real and some blocks that are fake so pip will have to choose the correct one the right one is on the right here guys the right one is on the left here guys but if you choose the one on the right then you'll fall through it straight into the lava pit i'm going to make this really really annoying for pip i'll just put some more ghost blocks around and okay the right way here is left right and then i'll make the right way again going right again so you'll have to go left right right and then i'll make him do right again and again and again until he gets out and i'll just do a bunch of other fake block jumps that he will think he has to do there we go hopefully this will confuse pip a little bit but there we go we have a little squid games challenge but now guys i'm going to work on another trap and i have an idea i'm going to make a dropper i'm gonna make it so that pip will have to jump all the way down and he's going to go all the way through this base thinking he'll be able to find jj and i'm just going to disappoint him a little bit in the end when he realizes jj was all the way up there but anyways let's put some water at the bottom so i'm going to put one water bucket right here and i'm also going to go ahead and put some fake water so that if pip jumps into the wrong one he will land and die because guys if you fall into fake water you will take a lot of damage so try not to fall in there but anyways we can get to the bottom of this dropper now and there we go but this will be the bottom of the base where pip will have to get to in order to try and find jj okay let's Let's go ahead and do something cool. So let's go ahead and make the bottom of the base. This is where we will end up. So here we go. Let's see. I need a floor that I will land on. And I need someone where Pip will get trapped. So, oh, I have an idea. I'll put some yellow at the bottom. And I will put spikes all over the ground. Let's just put spikes here. And let's get a world edit axe like this. And spread them all across the ground. All over here. Let's just set this to spikes. And now, if Pip falls down from the top, he will die. But if he gets down here and jumps into this little area here, he won't. And I'm going to make a spike maze. And I'm going to make a spike maze with some little rooms. And I'm going to make that JJ is in one of these. So here we go. Let's just put a door here and boom. Okay, we have one little closet that JJ could be in. But now let's go make another one. And it will be all the way back here in another room. Just back here. Let's just put a spruce door on it and boom. Now Pip will have so many places to check. And he's going to be so annoyed and angry when he cannot find JJ. So here we go. Let's just add a bunch more of them. I'll add a lot of different ways you can go. Then I'll add a few more of these closets around, just like this. Boom, boom, boom. And then let's go over here, go over here, and boom. Let's make another one right at the end. We have a lot of these little closets now, and Pip is going to be so angry he cannot find JJ. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'll make one more. I'll make it all the way over here in the corner. And this one's gonna be a funny one, guys. I'll make it so that when Pip walks into the closet, he 
will just fall into a trap of lava. He's gonna be so angry. But there we go. I did it. I put a bunch of different areas he could check at the bottom here. Perfect. I think Pip is totally dead in here. He's never going to find JJ, who is right up here at the top of my tree. <laughs> I have an idea. Let's just cover him up with a few more leaves like this. And now, no one will find him. But guys, there we go. We have this JJ base completed. And uh, what is Pip even doing? He's still got that dirt shack. And oh, I heard that, but he can't hear me. <laughs> Pork chop. If you guys 
guys are veteran Minecraft players, you will know this answer is super, super easy. The correct answer is, of course, steak. And that will not lead you to the bottomless pit. So let's go ahead and make this side the wrong answer. And we're going to go ahead and cover up this wrong answer with a ghost block. Just in case Louis tries to go through this side, he will see that it looks like a normal block. But if you step on it, he will die. Since we're using a ghost block, which is like an invisible block in Minecraft, you can simply just walk through it. It is super neat. But now it's time for another question. So let's go ahead and build our next question room right now. While I'm building this, guys, comment down below. What question should I ask Louie? It has to be super duper difficult. As it, the longer it takes to first, as the longer it takes for him to think for the answer, the better it is for me, as he will probably get it wrong. So make sure to comment down below the trickiest questions you can come up with. But while you're doing that, for this next question, I'm going to go ahead and ask, what is the most popular video on this channel? So this question is obviously for those people who really love Pip and Louie. And so, if you're a super OG or a super big fan, you're going to know that the correct answer for this question is YouTuber Statue Build Challenge. YouTuber Statue House Build Challenge was such a super fun video, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that video. But next, the wrong answer will be our second most popular video. The real JJ Build Battle in Minecraft. This was also a super fun video, guys. But it is getting so many views right now. So it might be our most popular video one day. However, as of now, it is the YouTuber Statue House Build Battle. So if Louie goes to the real JJ video, he will fall all the way into the dark, dark void where he belongs. But now it's time to work on our third and final question. And I see someone in the comments asked, how many subscribers does this channel have? You guys know the answer to this question. I'll give you a hint. If you subscribe, it'll tell you how many subscribers the Pip and Louie YouTube channel has. And if you are a really, really listening to some music. Oh, oh, oh. You know what? I I'm ready. I'm coming down. So, buddy, what are we going to do? Am I going to be looking in your base at the same time as you looking in mine? Or do you want to see how long it'll take to find Mikey in your base? Oh, it's going to take you hours to find Mikey in my base. Hours? Well, buddy, I guarantee you it'll take three minutes. Let me just get into survival mode and let's get in there. Come on! Good luck, Louie. You're going to need it. All right, let me see. I don't see anything so far. I see a door. I see your face. Maybe he's uh, in, in your pocket or something. I don't know. Uh, maybe he's like behind your head. No, I don't see it either. Pip, where is Mikey? Well, Louie, I guess there 
there is no base for you to check out. Oh, Sorry. Wait a second. What is this? Why is there a door here? Whoa, it's a secret door. Okay, it has to lead to something. Whoa. Why am I in here now? What is this room? Welcome, Louis, to the start of my base. Pick a door. Any door. Uh, all right. Well, I'm going to pick the right door because it's the right way, right? And whoa. Ow. Sorry, Louis. Wrong answer. Are you kidding me? Well, uh, it has to be the left door then because left is light. And um, I'm, I'm in the hole. I can't, I can't get out of here. Pick, pick. Sorry, Louis. Ow. Wrong Ow. answer. Ow. Oh, well, if it's not those two, then it must be the middle. Let's go. Wow. Sorry, oh, are wrong you, answer. Are you kidding me? None of the doors are right. Oh, well, you know what? I don't even have to go through the door. I can just grab the chest from over here. There we go. Oh, that's cheating, Louie. Sorry, Pip. If you snooze, you lose. Let's see here. Okay, the code is 4321. So let me put that in here and go through and... Oh, no. Is this a find the lever room? Yep, Louie. Which lever is connected to that iron door right there? And I'll give you a hint, Louie. Nothing in my base is as it seems. Nothing in your base is as it seems. Well, then nothing in this base must be right then, I guess. Because none of these levers are right. Oh, well. I guess if none of the levers are correct, you lose. I'm flicking them all, and none of them are right. They're all turned on, and nothing's happening. Oh, there has to be something you're hiding from me. Wait a second. Pip, there's literally nothing in that door. It's just it's just dirt on the other side. So that means something suspicious about what's behind you. Nothing suspicious over here. Buddy, buddy, these are definitely ghost blocks. Let me through. Let me through. Yeah! Oh, fine, Louie. Uh, go ahead. Go to that door with seems easy. I mean, why is there lava down here? Bro, I can just walk around it and go straight through the door. Let's just go in and... Wait a second. Pip, Pip, that looks suspicious. That looks suspicious. <laughs> why is there just an empty room there? Nothing, Louie. There's, there's literally nothing going on here. See, look, I'm walking just fine. You know what? I'm gonna close the door on you. You can stay in there because I have a suspicion that something is in the lava. Like, look, there's a lever right there. Let me flick it! Yeah! And press it. And... Wait, nothing happened. Uh, well, let's go ahead and uh, turn off that lever for now, Louis. Wait, but what? go over uh, here. Wait a second, Pip. Why is this fake lava? I, I'm not dying. Exactly, Louis. I tricked you. You didn't want to jump in the lava pit because you thought it was going to hurt you. All right. Well, oh, look. There's a secret way down here. Okay, let me just go here, through here, and... Wait, Pip, what is this? And Oh, no. Is this another find the lever room? Yep, find the lever was definitely not a secret entrance right there. Uh, well, that's definitely a secret entrance. And, ah, come on! <laughs> you fell for it. Oh, Pip, there has to be something. All those levers are probably fake. And look, there is literally a lever right here that you switched off before. So that has to do something with that secret find the lever room. Finally, we you somehow guessed it. All right, let's see here. And, yep, yeah, it was definitely right. Now let me through. And, uh, do I have to go down this hole into that lava? Yeah, Louie. Uh, just, uh, I think I forgot to do this, but let me go ahead and make the correct entrance. Wait, what? Uh, make the correct entrance? All right, I'm following you. All right, and let's just put some, uh, spikes down with Wait, some lava. Wait, spikes? Nope, 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 nope. I'm running out. I'm running out. You know what? I'm jumping in the lava. Let's go. And, yep, yeah, it was real. Gosh darn it, I didn't think you would know that. Oh, well, I did, buddy, and wait a second. Is that Mikey? I, oh, I can't see him, so I can't say I found him. Are you kidding me? Uh, sorry, Louie, I guess you have to do this question room. All right, well, fine, buddy, I can do it easily. Let's see here. What item do you get when you cook raw beef? Well, that's an easy one. It's clearly steak, so let me go through here, and I was right. Wow, Louie, I didn't know you were a genius, but let's put that little genius brain of yours with a we're going to answer what is the most popular video on this channel. Oh, I know that one, buddy. It's the video that is literally cut in half because our editors forgot to edit it. So let's go through the real JJ build battle door. And... Ah! Oh, well, if it wasn't that one, then it must have been the YouTuber Statue House build challenge. So let's go through here, and I'm right. Correct, Louie, but do you think you'll be right on how many subscribers does this channel have? Well, buddy, I think this channel has 28,000, 28,000, because none of our channels have 6,000 subscribers. The, the only channels that have that are the ones that we are not running anymore. All right, Louie, but now it is time for you to open your prize. Okay, and it was a book and quill with the code 999. Wait a second. This must let me in the room with Mikey. Let me through this door. Let me throw in. Whoa, TNT! Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. You better run, Louie. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Mikey, Mikey, Pip is crazy. We gotta get out of here and... Oh, I found you. I found you. I found Mikey. How did you find him so quickly? I don't know, Pip, but that only took me 15 minutes. Now, let's see how long it takes for you to find JJ. <laughs> All right, Pip, I completed your base, but now it's time for you to find JJ in mine. And <laughs> just a word of warning, you're not going to find him. I'm going to find JJ so easily. Look, there's literally a JJ painting right here. A JJ painting? No, that's my JJ base. I found him. I love you, JJ. And wait, um, wait, wh why am I burning? Why am I burning? You uh, ran straight into JJ's mouth and got digested. Come on, Louie. Yeah, you found his base, but you didn't find JJ himself. And you just walked into a fake entrance. But don't worry, Pip. Look, the real entrance is right here. You could just go in through this door. Finally, now it's time to find JJ. Come here, JJ. Where are you? And Bye, oh, no, Pip. No, no, no. <laughs> but anyways, Pip, follow me. I think there's another entrance you can try. Both of those were fake, but I can guarantee you this one is real. It, I just made it look really scary so that you would get scared of it. All right, well, let's just go through the glass. Woohoo! And wait. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh! Bye, Pip. <laughs> no, Louie, I almost landed next to lava, so let me just go ahead and give it another shot. No, 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 all right, Pip. You went through all of the fake entrances, but look, here is the real one. This is totally the real one, and it's not a fake one. Louie, why would the real entrance have spikes in it? That's a really silly entrance to have. To keep you oh, out! No. And, um, sorry, Pip, but this has to happen. Get it all! Wait, no! <laughs> okay, Pip, you fell for every single one. This time, that is the right entrance. This time, there is literally a real entrance. There is literally no other entrance around this base other than this one right here. So this is, um, logically the only way in. There's no other entrance, huh? Well, I guess that makes sense. I do not see any other secret door around here. So this has to be the correct way inside. And whoa, it is the correct way inside. Uh, no, Pip, it is not. You just fell into a poop chute. Oh! Wait, nom, nom, nom. yummy! No, 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 no. No, oh, um, Pip, you just ate the poop, and now you're in the spikes. So, um, sorry, buddy. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Louie, I cannot find the entrance to your base. Hmm, there's gotta be around here somewhere. Wait, Louie, uh, what is that smell? Oh, uh, what, 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 what smell? I have a super sniffer, and I think I'm smelling something over here. It smells like... Oh, it smells like a block that I need to enter. Did you say you had a super smeller? Uh, I don't want to know about that, but... Oh, no, Pip, uh, there's nothing here. There's nothing here. You you just, uh, you're smelling the water. <laughs> oh, trust me, it is bad to have a super smeller when you enter a public bathroom. But anyways, I see this block right here. Um, Pip, there's nothing there. And oh, no, you found the entrance. I made it, Louie. I have finally found the real entrance. All right, fine, buddy. Now you've just got to do some really easy parkour. Louie, why are there a bunch of ghost blocks? Uh, there's no ghost blocks there. What are you talking about? Uh-huh. Then why can't I go forwards right now? Uh, no reason. That's just because your, um, keys on your keyboard broke. <laughs> my keys on my keyboard broke, Louie. There's literally no way to get past it. Uh, well, uh, yes, there is. You just have to be careful. Ah! And... Uh, you were not careful. Well, third time to charm. Let's do this again, boys. All right, good job, Pip. You did that jump, but now it's time for your next one. And I'm guaranteeing you, you'll fail. Yep, you fell. You fell. <laughs> no, Louie, that was just a warm-up jump. I need to jump like this. Oh. I made it. Oh, good job. But now it's time for the hardest challenge in my base. Squid Games! Louie, Squid Games is super duper easy. Just watch this. Bump, 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 bump. Um, <laughs> bye, Pip. And that was just another one of my warm-ups, Louie. Ignore that. Okay, go on. Keep going. And Whoa, wait, you actually made it, but you um failed at the end. No, Louie, I know how to do it. Okay, so it's this block, and then it's this block right here. Uh -huh. This block, uh -huh. and then jump in the water. Woohoo! And you died, bro. You died? No, I didn't, Louie. I just missed the jump. And woohoo! I made it. All right.
Alright, well, good job. You made it, buddy boy. But now you have to find JJ in one of these special doors. And okay, you didn't find him in there. But can you find him in this one? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Come on, JJ. I'm smelling something past this door. <laughs> Oh, is JJ in there? No, JJ's not in here. Uh, no, Pip. Over here. No, no, Pip. He's not over here. He's not over here. Come on, something's gotta be past this door. <laughs> oh my gosh, you died. I think they might have smelled bad in there, guys. All right, well, there's only a few more doors left, and and nothing in there. I don't know about you, Pip, but there doesn't seem to be very much. Oh, nothing around here. Wait, what is behind these doors? All right, there's only one door left. JJ, I know you're behind here. Get in there! Louis, I give up. Where is JJ? I've been through your entire base. Well, buddy, it seems like you haven't been through my entire base. Just follow me. I'll show you something funny. All right, pal, why are we flying up here? Where is JJ hiding? Well, how about you take a look around? Because I think you missed something the first time you were around the base. Oh, I don't think I've missed anything. I just see a bunch of trees. Mm -hmm. JJ's big eyes. Mm -hmm. These big entrances. Yeah, but do you see anything a little bit suspicious? Well, I do see something hiding in these trees right here. I see you, JJ. Um, Pim, I think you missed. I, I think you went for the wrong tree. Maybe you should turn around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you are, JJ. I've got you surrounded. <laughs> what? Uh, Pim, you all looked at the wrong tree again. Bro, come up here. Come up here right now. Hey, look at this. He He's right here. Look, he's trying to hide from you as well. Oh, I see you, JJ. You're right under this bush. Okay, Pip, now you're just messing around. Look, he's right here. JJ has been in this tree the whole time, and you didn't even find him. So you lose. No, Louie, I didn't lose. I just ran out of time. Whoa, <laughs> no, JJ! <laughs> Oh my gosh, Pip, you are a monster. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed and want to watch more just like this one, then make sure to like, subscribe, and click the next video on your screen. Let's go! Let's go! And, uh, mop up the mess. JJ's dead. Rest in peace, JJ.